special method names, are names that have some special significance. So in Python, special method names involve some kind of extraordinary behavior. So certain names are special, or actually the Python docs call them magic, because they have some built-in behavior. So they can't just be arbitrary names, you have to use a particular name if you want to get something done. And these names always start and end with two underscores, which is that character that looks like a horizontal line down at the bottom of things. Okay, so the first example we saw of this was init, which is the name of every constructor method. And it's special because it's invoked automatically when an object is constructed. There are many more of these. We'll look at a few more this lecture. So for instance, there's one called len, and it's invoked by the built-in len function. So let's say I create a tuple, three, four, five. And normally I would find its length by calling the len function, but it turns out I can equivalently get the same behavior just by using a method on s. s dot underscore underscore len underscore underscore will also give me three. That's because all the len function does is invoke the method with this special name on whatever object is passed into it. What about another one, get item? Well, that's the method that gets invoked for element selection. So if I take some sequence and look up the element at a particular index, what I'm doing is I'm calling the special get item method. So I could equivalently say s element at index two is five or explicitly call this special method name, get item. And that will also evaluate to five. And the last one you'll need to know about to follow the examples that we're going to look at today is called Ripper. Ripper stands for a string representation of an object. It's invoked to display what an object looks like as a string, as part of an interactive session, for instance. So if I just say what's s, Python tells me three, four, five. How does it do that? Well, it's really just printing out the string that's returned by invoking the special wrapper method on that object. So here's an equivalent way of doing it. So why go all to all the trouble of defining these new special method names and showing this complicated way of invoking the same behavior? Well, if we create these method names on user defined classes, then we can write Python code in the normal way and it will just work. 